발레리나 피아니스트, 문학가, 그리고 법학자. 이것은 아시아 여성 최초로 하버드법대 종신교수가 된 석지연 교수의 꿈이었습니다. 여러분은 지금 어떤 꿈을 꾸고 계신가요? 오로지 단 하나의 꿈만을 위해 달리고 있는 사람들을 위해 그녀가 이번에 한국을 방문했습니다. 발레와 피아노 전공, 그리고 또 문학 공부, 이제는 법대에서 학생들을 가르치기까지 이렇게 많이 전공을 바꾸셨어요. 특별한 이유가 있나요? Well, I think that um, I consider it a, a, a really great um, good fortune in my life that I have had exposure to many different ways of, of knowing, different ways of learning and of expressing um, thoughts and ideas and music and, and dance. and literature and law have all been part of my life and they are now, as an adult, they're all still part of my life. I think that um, to be able to have that range is extremely important. It was something really, really special or unusual about me. I think that you know, society and the history of Korean immigration to the United States had reached a certain point and Koreans had reached a level of education and so inevitably at some point it was going to happen and that it happened to be me. 부모님들이 교수님을 키운 부모님의 교육법이 정말 궁금하실 것 같아요. I don't think that there's a formula to to express and then directly apply but if I had to say the method in general terms I would say that my parents gave me a lot of freedom and a space in which to explore my interests and tried to create. If they saw that I was interested in something, they would follow that and try to create a space where I could get deeper into that interest. And so I, I think that that is um, one of the things that, that made me who I am. 이번에 책을 쓰셨어요. 내가 보고 싶었던 세계라는 책. Just in the book, one of the things I write about is the importance of having something inside the individual, right? Something that drives you, something that really is about your fascination and your interest in the world, something that makes you feel like you want to get up in the morning. In the book, I do describe the struggles that I had when I was younger with a real lack of self-confidence, and I also struggled with things like writer's block and stage fright and basic um, fear of interacting with people. And it's, it's been a journey of realizing um, my potential through, through the work that I've done. And, and right now I can honestly say I don't fear. I would say don't try to be like me, try to be like yourself. to try to be as much yourself as you can be. And don't think there's this other person that I need to be. Um, that's, that's what I would say.